Hi friends, I hope you're all doing great, prepping really really well for CAT. In this part, we'll cover modulus, which forms an important part of algebra and functions. So let's understand the topic through various examples so that we can clarify it and we can cover it for CAT. So let's begin. Many of you have texted me and told me that it's a difficult topic and we are not able to understand it properly. So let's do it. Let's revise the topic and make sure that you will all understand this. Let's begin. First of all, modulus function, how do we define y is equal to mod x can be given as x when x is greater than or equal to zero and it is given as minus x when x is less than zero. Effectively, what's the meaning? If x is equal to plus 3, then it goes here straight away. Why? Because x is greater than or equal to 0. So then the value of y becomes equal to x, which is plus 3. When x is equal to minus 3, then it goes here. Why? Because when x is less than 0, this part of the function is effective. So therefore, minus of y becomes minus of minus 3, which is equal to plus 3. Effectively, we can say that the output of modulus function is always positive, no matter what you do. It is zero only in case of zero as input, right? So that is modulus function view. So plus x when x is greater than or equal to zero and minus x when x is less than zero. How do you draw a graph for a modulus function? Let's see if we have a coordinate axis like this, wherein you have positive x and positive y. In that case, for a positive value of x, the value of y is equal to x. If x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. If x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2, right? So if you join all these points, what do you get? When x is 0, y is 0. So when you join these points, you get this line. And similarly, on the negative side of x axis, for x is equal to minus 1, you have y is equal to 1 because output will always be positive. x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to plus 2. If you join these points again, this is the kind of graph that you get. So this is y is equal to mod x graph. Let's see a few variations to this graph so that we can understand and you know we can comprehend the topic clearly. So y is equal to mod x is this. If I have to draw y is equal to mod x plus a graph, right that a can be anything in that case what will happen remember that now when you put x is equal to minus a then y becomes zero therefore the graph will shift a units to the left the graph will shift a units to the left and y is equal to mod x plus a can be drawn like this similarly let's say the graph is mod x minus b now, when you put x is equal to b, then the value of y becomes zero. Hence, in this case, the graph will shift b units to the right. And this is how you will draw mod of x minus b. Right? If you have to do, let's say, mod x plus c. Remember, the c here is outside the mod. In that case, it's quite simple. All you have to do is just shift mod x graph by c units upward so if you shift it by c units upward then the graph becomes something like this and similarly if mod x minus d then you shift it by d units downwards right so this is how you draw the graph you can draw any function now if you have clearly understood this so any variation of mod or modulus function can be clearly represented through a graph also. Let's have a look at mod x minus a. Very, very interesting. What is the meaning of mod x minus a? Mod x minus 2, let's say, is given as equal to 3. The meaning of mod x minus a is distance of x from a. Very simply, in this example, distance from of x from 2 is given as equal to 3. 
if distance of x from 2 is given as equal to 3 then x can be what x can be 5 see on the number line if I have 2 here right and the distance of this point from 2 is given as 3 then it can be 5 or it can be minus 1 right from minus 1 to 2 the distance is 3 from 2 to 5 the distance is 3 so in this case quite clearly the answer can be x is equal to 5 or x is equal to minus 1 I hope this concept is clear so mod x minus a means distance of x from a very very simply let's see a few more examples mod x minus 2 is equal to 5 so distance of x from 2 is 5 right so then clearly x can be 7 right and what else it can also be minus 3 because from minus 3 also to minus 2 the distance is 5 so that is one very very simple and conceptual way of solving this question what can be another way of doing this let's see mod of x minus 2 is equal to 5 so I can write it as x minus 2 when x greater than equal to 2 and I can write it as 2 minus x when x is less than 2 right we, we do it y is equal to x and minus x as in the definition so x minus 2 and 2 minus x so here if you do equal to 5 here if you do equal to 5 here you will get x is equal to 7 and here you will get x is equal to minus 3 it's the same answer that you got from the first method also right I hope this is clear to you find the minimum value of mod x minus 3 plus mod x minus 7 very interesting let's understand and articulate the question in words distance of x from 3 and distance from of x from 7 has to be minimized let's say here I have 3 I have 7 I have to take a point such that the you know the distance of the point sum of the distance right sum of the distance is minimized so where can I take it I can take it between 3 and 7 so let's say I take 5 the distance from 3 is equal to 2 and distance from 7 is equal to 2 I take it at 4 also distance from 3 is 1 and distance from 7 is 3 so no matter where I take the value or the sum of the distance becomes equal to 4 the minimum value is 4 let's take any other value let's take 1 if you take 1 distance from 3 is 2 and distance from 7 is 6 so the total becomes 8 right so very conceptually you can solve this question so easily now right all you have to do is understand the concept of distance here right let's move forward and understand a few more questions a few more varieties so quite an interesting one quite a famous variety mod x plus mod y is equal to 10 how do you draw this let's see when you take x as positive y is positive this is equal to 10 when you take x as positive y is negative this is equal to 10 x is negative y is positive equal to 10 and x is negative y is negative equal to 10 now if you draw it very very simply how do you draw x plus y is equal to 10 this is how you will draw it and similarly so this for example the first one when x is positive y is positive it will be in the first quadrant right you all understood the basics of coordinate geometry we've already done a vi video on that if you've not seen that please do check it out it will help you clarify these concepts right so if you just draw these lines this is how you get it so you get a good square here right and very very simply the points here 10 comma 0 0 comma 10 here you will have minus 10 comma 0 0 comma minus 10 number of points which satisfy this will be on these lines or on this quadrilateral ABCD so how many points let's see from point A to point B starting from 0 to 10 there are 11 points from B to C starting from again here 0 here 10 you have 11 points again between C and D from 0 to minus 10 you have 11 points and finally a and d from 0 to minus 10 you have again 11 points but in the process what has happened 
these points have been counted twice because this point came in AB also AD also this point came in AB also BC also so you'll have to subtract these points once so the answer is 40 I hope this is clear to you very very interesting very simple what's the area of the region bounded by this many a times you've seen question like this also what is the area bounded by this uh, curve so area is quite simple if this is 10 this is 10 there are four triangles here one two three and four find out the area of any one triangle multiply by four let's find out the area for first half into base into height that's the area that is 50 now you multiply it with four you get the answer right very very simple another interesting question that is there is mod x plus mod y less than equal to 10 sometimes the question is how many integer points are there on or within this diagram or on or within this graph so on the graph or within the graph how many integer points are there so how do we calculate it very simply think about it very very simply mod x plus mod y less than equal to 10 we know mod x plus mod y equal to 10 has 40 points on it less than equal to 10 means mod x plus mod y equal to 9 has to be considered or as well that will be 4 into 9 36 mod x plus mod y is equal to 8 also so 4 into 8 that is 32 go on till the last one right mod x plus mod y is equal to 1 so 4 if you just take common then this becomes 10 plus 9 plus 8 going on till 1 finally you have to add this origin also right finally you have to add this origin also so you add this one as well because that's also an integral coordinate right so from 1 to 10 10 into 11 by 2 which is 55 into 4 4 into 5 is 20 4 into 50 is 200 so 220 plus 1 221 i hope this is clear to you so most types of questions from modulus is clear one very very rare question can be let's say something like a circle so how do you draw a circle let's say x square plus y square is equal to a square that is how you represent a circle that's the graph of a circle sometimes you know represented as mod x square plus mod y square is equal to a square so hardly any difference you can draw it the way you draw it originally in case of a circle but that's very rare what we have covered in this part is the thick of the topic so if you are really clear with this topic then do revise it and thank you so much for joining in today god bless you all take care all the best for cat bye bye